Welcome to Dakota Starry Nights. Well, as you can see here, I have a pier fashioned out of a bird bath, turned upside down. Uh, this is a old school bird bath, solid concrete, column and bottom, and it's simply reversed. What brought this up is the other night I was able to image two nights in a row and I left the tripod out. So the next night, all I needed to do was really step up to the mount fire it up, reinstate the PhD calibration, so I didn't even have to do that because nothing was moved, and slewed to the target and started imaging right away. It was like having an observatory, which is one of the biggest advantages of having an observatory is that you don't need to set up a polar line every night, which can take anywhere from, what, 30 minutes to an hour if you're having difficulties. So being able to come out here and just assemble this is a dream come true. It's like having an observatory. Now you can always build a pier and go through the whole nine yards of the concrete and all that, but the problem with that is if you're living in a situation where you know you really uh, don't have the resources to do that or you don't really want a pier permanently in the middle of your backyard somewhere in case you decide to change it, this works really well. Uh, with the gravel base it uh, distributes the weight, keeps the water away from it so you won't get heat even thaw. The weight is substantial enough to where it keeps this nice and solid and damped down. So it's really like a portable pier as it were. What I've done was I've ordered another one of these pier adapters that normally go on the tripod so that the one on the tripod is still there. So at night when I go to break down, I break this down and just put this, slip it on top of the tripod as a way to store it. By doing that, there's a security measure there as well as you don't have to worry about this stuff being on in the damp overnight and maybe it might be another two or three weeks before you can come back out here. Now, of course, this only works in your backyard or some place where you have regular access. Um, if you do decide to go out to a dark site, you still got your tripod, but if you're imaging in your backyard, you're able to do that. So basically everything comes off except the pier adapter and this will be covered with plastic or something. It is aluminum so it's not going to rust so that's not a problem. And that's as simple as it gets really. Be sure to use the real small pea gravel. You don't want the real big gravel. You, this is quarter inch pea gravel. That allows you to fine tune the level. One thing I did was I had polar aligned this in this particular spot and put a stick up there. I could look at where the polar scope would go to, so that when I set this down, I'm kind of roughly into a line. And then your first night, you're going to have to polar align it through your regular routine. But after that, that should be it. No more polar alignment. Just waltz out here, drop your stuff on, you're good to go. Another handy feature is this um, cable distribution tree and it's basically just a tripod with a broom handle stuck in it. All the cables are on here. So basically you just bring this out and plug in your camera, your guide scope, and uh, your power, and that's it. Well, welcome back. So here it is the second night. Last night went very well. Uh, we were able to get 10 minute subs uh, on the M27, the dumbbell. Uh, before I started though, I did put this brace on the pedestal uh, right over on the north side where the counterweight uh, swings. I figured just to give it a little more stability. The other thing guys, if you find one of these older bird baths that are solid concrete, um, you got to be careful moving it around. I'd say it weighs way over 100 pounds and they're typically joined together with a bolt at the bottom with the uh, dish and the uh, column. Uh, that bolt could be a little rusted depending and so be careful that it doesn't come apart on you. It's stable enough to do 10 minute uh, guided subs, but now the real proof is I had disassembled it last night after I was finished imaging and now I just reassembled it. So now what we got to find out is, is it going to hold that polar alignment? And that's going to be the test. Um, if it does, it'll be a real time saver because at that point you can eliminate polar alignment uh, you can eliminate PhD calibration too because if you stay on the same target you could just use the same calibration that you did the night before. Uh, you could go pretty much right to imaging and that's that's going to be a real plus. I always wanted to have a peer for that time saving feature but was unable to come up with an idea that would work in case I wanted to move it and yet be permanent and solid at the same time. 
So while, although this weighs over 100 pounds, I'd say maybe even 150, it is movable and if so desired down the road, which I like. So uh, we've got a transparent skies for tonight. Let's get to M27 here. All right, it's dark. Polaris is up and the scope is in a counterweight down position. We're gonna do a cold start. We're gonna to go to Altier. If it's polar aligned, it should get us pretty close and then we'll sink to it. There. So we'll get it over. It's really not necessary to do a sky model because you're going to be on one target all night anyway. If you're doing visual work, then the sky model certainly is necessary, but not, but not for imaging. Okay, so there's Altier centered in the camera view, so we'll go to menu, align, synchronize, so now we're synced on Altier, so the scope knows more or less where it is, and then we'll do a go to, to a catalog object, okay, now I'm going to do a five second preview, to see where we are, yep, I think we're there, yep, there we are, we just need to come over this way and down the frame of shot. Okay, we're in. And now we'll start our PhD. And we will use last night's calibration. Okay, so let's let's pull one in. 600 seconds, 10 minutes. Let's see. Two hours worth. Capture series. Okay, this is just about downloaded, so let's check it out. Wow, there it is. Ten minutes sub. Okay, well that about does it. Uh, if you like what you see here on Dakota Starry Nights, give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. Clear nights and thanks for tuning in to Dakota Starry Nights.